up? Q&A time. Josh F. on the Facebooks asks how to improve the first pull on the deadlift. Uh, I think he means, you know, if you fail right off the floor. That's where I've always failed, and that's where I still fail if I fail on a deadlift. Uh, without seeing your deadlift, it's hard to say what causes you to do it. It could be a couple of reasons. You know, weak hamstrings, poor technique, poor form. Uh, usually a, your setup is wrong. You're letting the bar drift out in front of you from the start, which kind of pulls you out of position. You can't be strong in. It's uh, common. But I'll just go over some uh, what's helped me and uh, what's helped, uh, you know, what I see help a lot of people improve their speed off the floor and their strength off the floor and the deadlift is a uh, front squats for leg drive are really beneficial. I know a lot of people say so. I'm not going to name drop, but I say so, so that's name dropping enough. Uh, I like stiff leg deadlifts, but I do them in a certain way. Um, my buddy Doug Carroll taught me how to do them to learn how to pull the slack out of the bar and I would say that is the main thing improving your deadlift off the floor is not just yanking on the damn bar but pulling the slack out of it and then as you drop your hips you've already kind of initiated the pull already by pulling the slack out um, so I kind of when I do my stiff legs I did you know I do them dead stop from the floor every rep and uh, it's I basically just try to pull out the slack with my upper body and if you know when the weight's light enough I'll just lift it up and then I'm already stiff legging it and the difference is is that when I'm doing a normal deadlift or a heavier deadlift and I'm not stiff doing stiff legs is by initiating it the same way I do my stiff legs then when I I'm already I already have tension on it I already have all the slack out then when I drop my hips and push through with my legs I'm already have all that tension built and I'm already transferring that much power and there's no wasted energy I'm not then yanking on the bar and then that's how that's what made the difference in me pulling 600 for the first time was uh, learning how to do that I really need to put a little video together showcasing uh, kind of demonstrating how I'm saying to do deadlifts and uh, teaching yourself to pull the slack out of the bar how I'm trying to say it's hard to say to be a conversation without just showing you but I'll try to get that together. The problem is uh, my hamstrings don't work, so it's hard for me to deadlift anyways. So I can, uh, I have some nerve impingement that just won't go away. But as soon as I'm healthy, I'll try to get one of those videos together. Maybe I'm head of the gym right now, maybe I'll do it, but um, I'd say uh, work your hamstrings, glute ham raises, stiff leg deadlifts, how I'm talking about, uh, front squats for a uh, leg drive, and uh, send me a video of your pole. It'll help out a lot. Just and uh, if you're not already videoing your lifts, video them from the side or a quarter front side because then you can actually look at it and see yourself what's going wrong. That's helped me tremendously throughout my career is actually watching my own lifts and sharing them with people and, uh, you know, getting some perspective because you can, you don't really know what's going on because you're not watching yourself do it. You're the one doing it. So unless you have tape to look back and see what, what the issue is, you're kind of just going in blind and thinking you know what's going on but sometimes I've lifted and I felt like shit and I look at it and I realize that it was all in my head and I was just being a pussy so uh, video your lifts send them to me or share them with your friends or at least look at them yourself and uh, pull, pull some stiff leg deadlifts and do some front squats